Well, I am standing under the canopy of a beautiful filbert orchard, and I'm here with Lance Kirk, who is the owner of Lance Kirk, uh, not Lance Kirk family filberts, it's just Kirk family filberts, yep, isn't it? Yep, yep. <laughs> now, I think that it's one of the biggest exports that Oregon has, really to the world even, so I would love to know, how do you go about, these are tall trees, tell me the process of harvesting and how that happens. Well, we'll start off uh, being patient with uh, Mother Nature, kind of looking at the forecast. We'll let the, uh, the nuts fall, and we try to get as many nuts on the ground that first pick. And so patience is key. Looking and does that come from, like, is it just when they're ripe, they automatically fall, or is it wind, or is it wind, combination? Wind, wind rattling the trees, um, and, uh, and the heat, the dews, cold temperatures at night help. Um, a little rain would be nice if you had ideal, a little rain and then warm weather behind it and they'll just fall out of the husk. And then once they hit the ground, what, what happens? Then, then we'll come in with a, a, a sweeper and it's similar to like a street sweeper and it'll sweep them. We'll go down each row and sweep them into windrows and, uh, and uh, then we'll have a, a harvester mm -hmm. which uh, will come and it's got a, a couple uh, conveyors that will lift the nuts up off the ground and then and take them back on a chain and sucking out uh, light leaves, sticks, debris that we don't want to bring in and, and then into a, a, a cart or a tote. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, what I found interesting was this actually is what they are like on the tree. And I mm -hmm. made the assumption this was what would fall to the ground, but mm -hmm. that's inaccurate, isn't it? No. Because this is how they fall out. That's how they fall so out. So these are ready then to go into the processing stage. So why don't we right. uh, take a look at that area and show me what's going on there. Perfect. So I guess this is what you would call the processing plant part of it, huh? Yes. What <laughs> happens here then? A lot of noise. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> so it starts off with, uh, now we've taken the nuts out of the field in a tote and we dump them into the system and uh, They'll uh, start sorting out sticks, yeah. big debris, and then they'll go through a round cylinder, which will get rid of a lot of the dirt. And that sorts the nuts from the dirt right there. And the nuts will drop through some holes and then go through a series of chains and conveyors to get rid of more dirt and sticks. And then an air leg, which will suck off leaves and yeah. anything light yeah. that is, uh, is out there. Then it will go into a wash barrel, and they'll get washed. So that's the first time they've seen any kind of water. Yeah, is up that's to the them. first moisture. So, and then from there they'll drop into a de-rocker, and we'll sort out the nuts from the rocks or mud balls or anything that has escaped to that point. And then, then we'll start the drying process. We'll we'll have a series of fans blowing off the excess moisture, and uh, and then uh, we will uh, put them up into our uh, dryers. And then once they get done with that, they go in a semi truck and off to Newburgh. Is off that to Newburgh, the George Packing Company is who uh, we uh, process for. Well, you know, one of the great things is uh, you might remember we did a thing with Rogue Brewery out here, and you supply the hazelnuts for their beverage. Yes, so uh, that's been a good deal. It's yep. been interesting to see that that yes. that business. So grow you can too. experience the flavor in all different types. Oh, yeah, that's great. <laughs> and also, they you've started uh, just selling them yourselves recently. Yep. So you can, if you come out to Rogue Brewery, you can certainly stop by here and pick some up, or they can uh, be purchased on your Facebook page. Yes. So for more information on this wonderful product that is so, so vibrant in Oregon to all of us for our economy, you can go to gardentime.tv. We'll click you over to their Facebook page. Lance, thank you so much. It was thank a real you. pleasure. Appreciate it.